Hi, welcome back to another episode of Girls, Girls, Girls. And today I'm being joined by... Jana Gerdowskis. <laughs> so I guess give a brief introduction, like who are you, what do you do? Yeah, so in the daytime I am a teacher and I'm a mom of two young boys. And then I also, at night and on the weekends, I run a nonprofit organization called The Period Purse. So we do some outreach, um, getting marginalized people free access to period supplies. And we do education around periods and reducing that stigma. And also working on advocacy and trying to make some policy changes in that area as well. So yeah, that's yeah. the period purse. Yeah, that's amazing. You're kind of like a superhero with this like yeah. alter ego. I am, like, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, moving on to the questions. So first question: If you were an ice cream flavor, what would you oh. be? Hmm. Well, my favorite probably is chocolate and peanut butter, but I don't think that's what I would be. <laughs> For some reason, um, mint chocolate chip comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. I love bright colors, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I love the brightness of mint, and of course there needs to be some chocolate in there as well, yeah, so chocolate, yeah. mint chocolate. Definitely. That's a, I love it so much. It's delicious. So um, first question, what is the best and worst part about being a girl? <sighs> being a girl, <laughs> well, the best part. I just love good girlfriends. I think they really stick by you so much more and support you than our male counterparts and their friends. So I, I love how close you can be with a best friend and, yeah. and secrets and laughing and being yourself and staying in your pajamas and that kind of stuff. So I love girlfriends mm -hmm. and I think that's the best part about being a girl. What's the worst part? Um, not to go super dark, but I do think it's that scary, um, what is always in our back of our mind that I know that my husband doesn't have to deal with of walking to my car in a parking lot that mm. I'm looking around myself and, yeah, yeah. and walking down the street um, downtown trying to think, making sure I'm safe. So yeah, I, I yeah. do think that's that is the worst part of being a girl that a lot of boys and men have never thought of yeah yeah exactly especially with um i guess like it, it is just like the truth and we do need to be careful about them yes like, a lot of a lot more things than they do yes yeah yeah so next question what is your definition of success and do you think you've achieved it so success mm -hmm. it's very interesting because every year i pick a new word kind of like a New Year's resolution, because resolutions only last a few hours with me. <laughs> so the last few years I've picked a word. And this year, actually, my word is success. Mm -hmm. So, and it's funny, a friend said, well, what are you talking about? You've already gotten success. And I think no matter where you are, there's always something more for you to succeed in. Yeah. So if you're here, you always can go to a new level. Mm -hmm. And also thinking about um, different areas of your life so I can be successful in my family life and in with the period person at work. Yeah. So there's always different areas that you can be successful. So I think that de definition is really... Um, <laughs> my three-year-old is joining us. So. <laughs> I think that definition of success can really change um, depending on who you are and, and your goals and what you want. But I think it's really important that we set goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, okay. I agree. I think um, also another thing is that... Okay, hold, sorry. Ryder. There is really no like concrete, I guess, point where you've reached success and you can just stop going. Right. But it's like always exactly. like, uh, increasing. Um, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I like that. So um, who or what inspires you? Inspiration. So I love strong women who really have ideas and work through hard stuff and keep pushing no matter if they get a, a no or things are tough for them. Um, and, and just being a really great leader with with kindness and compassion. Mm -hmm. So I actually love Malala. Mm, so yes, her yeah. story is so amazing. Even as a young girl being 
12, 13, 14, yeah. she really fought for education for girls and raised her voice, even though it was scary. Yeah. And then that episode happened to her. And even when she woke up in the hospital and her being in the hospital, she wanted to continue that fight and continue making a difference and the huge different that difference now that she's made with being able to have that platform and her great foundation. So that's the kind of kind of grit and push mm -hmm. and continue um, pushing their success yeah. is who those are those are the people that I, I really admire. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also like a lot of young people these days have been like rising up using their voice and mm -hmm. yeah I just I think it's really great. It is. Yeah. The young people are going to change change the world so yeah. it's great when we see and hear those people. Yeah yeah. So next um, what is your biggest regret? Regret. I don't have tons of regret because I always can really look back in, with perspective mm -hmm. um kind of like hi hindsight is 2020 yeah. and see that that mistake or that bad time or whatever it was that bad event or that bad period really was a, a reason for my life to be forced in a different way mm -hmm. so whether i had a bad job and that forced me to look somewhere else and find a new job or something wasn't working out with um, a friend or I didn't like, you know, my car didn't start and I, I couldn't get somewhere. Like even as small as that, I mm -hmm. think about how maybe my car didn't start and it saved me from getting in a, in a car accident. Mm -hmm. So I don't have tons of regret um, because I really think things happen for a reason. Um, but one thing I wish I had done a little bit different and I don't really think it would have changed that much mm -hmm. in my life yeah. is the first year in university I was born and raised in London and I went to my undergrad at University of Western Ontario mm -hmm. and I lived at home and mainly be just to save money obviously that's the cheapest yeah. option to save money yeah. but I wish in that first year I actually lived in residence mm -hmm. I wish somebody had told me that that was a great way to meet some fast instant friends who were going to be your your team and your best friends and your your group that you'll be with throughout university yeah. so i guess not living in in residence and living at home would be my my biggest regret but it's okay i turned out well yeah yeah huh? that's fine i think like just like you said a lot of things happen for a reason and i guess like you can't really go back and change anything so you just you know roll with what you got mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's good so what is your proudest achievement my proudest achievement i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> i think um Yes, there's a lot of great stuff that's happening with the period purse right now and mm -hmm. and new great things happen every month that I'm really proud of. But I also think having perspective on that and whether it's really big or just another stepping stone, you really need to be far away from that. Mm -hmm. So I am proud of myself back in my 20s after I finished all my universities because um, degrees and I am a a teacher a trained teacher when I was 25 I moved to Germany by myself wow. and now looking back on that it I know how brave I was I probably didn't know how much bravery it took at the time yeah, yeah. I really I love Europe and my heart is there and so I wanted to live and move and move there which I did by myself and I went for two years and I stayed seven years living in Germany and I loved it and I traveled so much around the world just because I had the money and not much else holding me down so I think that is such a big achievement in my life is yeah. moving to Europe and and finding myself and experiencing such great things in so many countries mm -hmm. uh, yeah and not many people can say they've done that so mm -hmm. I think that's really amazing yeah, yeah. so I'm happy I had that experience in my life. Yeah, yeah. So next, um, what is your advice to all the young girls out there, especially those in your profession or 
I guess, like trying to figure out what they want to do with their life? My advice, um, I would really tr say to take all the opportunities you can. So whether it's traveling or going to that fun event that somebody invited you to, mm -hmm. say a lot of yeses to things. Yeah. Because I think life eventually will turn into where now I have two kids that are in downstairs watching a movie. <laughs> so my weekends really are about them and revolve around them. And so I don't have as much opportunity to say yes to all the exciting opportunities for me mm -hmm. um, in this, even in this city. So I think for young girls, just to experience so much, whether it's going to a new festival in town or a new fair, or trying new food or learning a new language. So I think the more experiences you have really will make your life really rich and also open you up to new fun experiences. So yeah. that's what I would say to young girls, like especially teenagers like yourself, just mm -hmm. have fun and, and say yes to things yeah. that you that you want to do and experience all the great things, especially in Toronto. We have amazing food and <laughs> yes, festivals and, yeah. and culture in this city that we're really lucky compared to the rest of the world that we yeah. can experience it in such a small place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also like, I guess if you don't say, if you don't say yes to something, you might never know what you miss. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, when you're like old and you can't really move, it's like, oh man, I wish I knew what would have happened if I, exactly yeah, yeah. so yeah. i agree yeah thank you so much You're for welcome. meeting with me this is fantastic yeah, thanks. thank you thank you thank great you. to meet a, a yeah. young person who's asking great questions so thank, <laughs> thank you, you.